The following program is presented by Kevin Shorey Ministries, whose mission is to fulfill the Great Commission by spreading the word that Jesus is the answer for this world today. What time is it? Why, it's time for AM Kevin. That's right. From Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee, it's time once again for another edition of AM Kevin. Starring evangelist, composer, and gospel artist Kevin Shorey and the entire AM Kevin Club gang. And now, from the AM Kevin Studios, located in Stonebridge Books and Gifts in beautiful Ashland City, Tennessee, reaching coast to coast and around the world with the message that Jesus is the answer for this world today, is your host, Kevin Shorey. Good morning, welcome to the AM Kevin Club. If you're watching it evening, whenever you're watching, welcome. Isn't it a great day? to serve the Lord. We're going to serve him today. We're going to praise him today. Let's start out with one of the greatest praises we can give him. That's the word hallelujah. My friend David Eichler and I decided to write a song about that. It's on our praise and worship CD. Here it is. It's called Hallelujah. Yes. Sing. have come to lift our voice to worship him and sing clap our hands shout and rejoice let all creation sing strike up the band we can play the tambourine let the trumpet sound come on gather round let the praise begin hallelujah hallelujah our god is on the throne Hallelujah, hallelujah, he's claimed us as his own. Glory, honor, and power are yours alone today, Lord. And with the angels singing, we lift our hands and say, say, holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah, he's worthy, yeah, worthy, worthy of all praise. All creation worships him, the great I am is he. The angel band begins to play that endless symphony. Oh, strike up the band and play the tambourine. Let the trumpet sound, come on, gather round. Let the praise begin. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our God is on the throne. Come on, sing and clap with me. Hallelujah. He's claimed us as his own. All glory, honor, and power are yours alone today. And with the angels singing, we lift our hands and say, Holy, holy. of all praise. Say it! Hallelujah, hallelujah, our God is on the throne. We say hallelujah, hallelujah, he's claimed us as his own. Oh, glory, honor, and power are yours alone today. And with the angels singing, we lift our hands and say, come on, holy, holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, 
Hallelujah, he's worthy. Say it. Worthy. Yeah, worthy of all praise. He's worthy. worthy. Yeah, worthy. Worthy of all praise. Oh, worthy. Worthy. Worthy of all praise. Yes, he is worthy. I'm so glad you're watching today when we can shout and sing hallelujah to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. To lift him up is our number one goal. I want to welcome Destiny Television with some new programs today. I'm so glad that you're watching today. And in case you haven't seen uh, the program in quite a long time, we have our Soapbox segment, which is coming up right now. Are you ready? It's time now for Kevin's Soapbox. News, thoughts, and commentary from your host, Kevin Shorey. Now, here's Kevin. Thank you, Larry, and uh, that's our announcer, Larry, and the uh, Soapbox is down here. So we put it down here, so I'm on my Soapbox today. On this day in uh, 1986, do you remember it well? Chernobyl rocked the world. An underlying problem all along with the nuclear power plant there in Chernobyl in Russia. I've been near that property, as a matter of fact. It became a worldwide disaster affecting lives even today. And my question on my soapbox today is, what is our Chernobyl? What underlying currents of evil and issues are going on in our nation today, which will eventually cause a disaster. Another thing that causes disaster is fault lines. When faults shift and move, it's called an earthquake. Today, uh, which is April 26th, so whenever you're watching it, just remember April 26th is Richter Scale Day because on this day, it's the birthday of Charles Richter who invented the Richter Scale, which, which measures fault lines and earthquakes and tremors. Same analogy. Faults underlying will wreak havoc someday. Could it be today? Could it be Tomorrow, what I'm talking about is the undercurrents of evil that are there. Abortion is still rampant. There's still a racism. There's still division. There's still problems on every hand in our nation. And unless they're taken care of and exposed to the light of Jesus, unless we lift up and proclaim that Jesus is the answer for this world today, what kind of Chernobyl, what kind of earthquake, what kind of issue will hit our nation today? Let us pray. And for those that are watching for the very first time, I've been asking people to pray that God will wake up just like he did in the days of old where he woke up the Pharaoh and said, I need someone to interpret this dream. I'm praying that our president, Joe Biden, will get a dream from the Lord that somebody will step up, a prophet, a, pr a preacher of the gospel, or one who knows how to interpret dreams will go to him and tell him, this is what must be done, saith the Lord. So let us pray that our president gets the dream before it's too late. That's my soapbox, and now it's time for Larry to take me out. Larry, let me hear your wonderful voice, please. This concludes this edition of Kevin's Soapbox, thought-provoking news, thoughts, and commentary from your host, Kevin Shorey. Kevin's Soapbox is a regular feature of the AM Kevin Show. We hope that you've enjoyed it. Yes, I hope you enjoyed it today. And uh, for those that are watching on Destiny Television, uh, you're watching for uh, 30 minutes. We do a full hour program. So catch us live on Facebook. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong camera. At Facebook or YouTube or go to one of your favorite podcasts. We also can be seen on great networks, not just Destiny Television, but the ALG Satellite Network, CTFTV, WOTG, WGHC, and WIG. And I'm here to let everybody know that my new CD is being mixed as we speak. And so I have a brand new CD. Now, the one I sang for Hallelujah, Hallelujah is on my Praise and Worship CD that's been out for quite a while. I'd say, whew, we're going on over 20 years at this. This I cannot believe this was that's done in the 90s. 
It was with great songs. I was made for praise. We come to lift up Jesus. Everybody praise the Lord. That's like a, a jazz. Oh, it's, it's a great uh, hallelujah. Victory. Lord, I want to praise you. My, one of my most popular songs is on this CD only. Speak his name. There's healing now for you. We've got the name cleansing tears and a song from Psalm 17. Anyway, when I sing a song from the CD, it's our custom to do them half price. These are $20 CDs, but for $10, you can get your made for praise today. Uh, the, we, I, I want to just thank all those who gave extra. Their, their names will be on the credits, and they'll get the brand new CD, Growing Up Gospel. I don't even have a mock-up to show you yet. But you'll be getting that. We finished up the vocals. My wife, my niece, and the great and one and only from Hee Haw, Lulu Roman, finished up their vocals. And my new CD, Growing Up Gospel, a tribute to my mom, is being mixed as we speak. How do you get yours today? Go to P.O. Box 222, Pleasant View, Tennessee, 37146. That's our address. Or you can call us at 844-47-KEVIN or go right to kevinshorey.com. Com and kevinchory.com will give you the links to all the different things. We have a lot of great items, in, in, including my favorite, which is the, the jar, which I, I left at the house. It's for pet health. And we have a 15-year-old Shih Tzu, and our Shih Tzu, you know, is sleeping a lot, wondering. He is walking around more. He is, because of this great, if you're really concerned about your pet, Go to kevinchory.com and find the pet health. We also have vitamins and uh, and uh, these different things. I want everybody to get an immune booster. We have this available, and you'll see what I what what I'm talking about. It is there, I including chewable probiotics. All these things, these vitamins, including my silver. That's also available on kevinchory.com. Uh, the silver. Help me get through COVID. For those who are just uh, watching for the first time or have been a first time in a long time, uh, I've got my COVID beard and mustache. Did you notice? I haven't asked anybody what they thought about it. Should I shave it? Should I keep it? It's the most hair I've ever grown in my whole 50 years of life uh, on my face. And uh, <laughs> it's one month and it's not a lot. But I don't know. I've, got, I've been getting compliments. My wife likes it. Uh, my pastor likes it. Um, uh <laughs> But anyway, would you uh, uh, let me know if you like the, the beard mustache, you know, we uh, we like to uh, do a lot of getting to know one another and getting to know uh, how everybody uh, feels about things and get to know. And, and in the second half of our our program, the part Destiny Television, you don't get to see. Uh, we talk live on Facebook and YouTube to folks. And um, I, I, matter of fact, I'm looking over and Phyllis says shave it. But Dave and Barb says we like it. We're at a tie right now. So <laughs> I'm looking at Facebook right now, and Larry, our announcer, looks at Facebook and YouTube at the same time. And, and we have folks, we make a cross every day. We go from East Coast, East Coast to West Coast, North to South, East and West. We make a cross every day of people just live on Facebook and YouTube. We have Charlene, who's in, in uh, Louisiana. Hello, Charlene. Uh, Jeanette here in Tennessee. Lyle out in California. Darius in Texas. And, and uh, there's Steve in Tennessee. M uh, Kent, Pastor Beatty there in Missouri. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, they like my song and everybody's saying good morning. And uh, I, I'm normally, I'm going to talk to them in the second half. So if you want to join us on Facebook Live, just uh, punch in Kevin Shorey and uh, you'll find me on Facebook and at request, friend request me and we'll, I'll accept your request. Uh, or go on YouTube Live. I don't get to talk to the YouTube people as much, but if there's anything you say, let's see. Dr. Ron Wade says to shave it, but Elizabeth in Northern Ireland says, I like it. And uh, Larry says, keep it. I don't know what to do. I'm going to keep it a few more days anyway. How about you Alabamans in out there in Destiny Television land? What do you think about it? I'm going to sing a new, another song. I'm going to have a Devo today, but I want everybody, when we tape this today, this is April 26th, which is National Pretzel Day. And so I, I like, so we've been reminiscing about my beard, and I'll, I just like to sing the theme song from Little River Band. We go dancing in the dark, walking in the park, and reminiscing. And I can't sing anymore, else I have to pay. Uh, or I get bumped off. They, they mute me. Uh, but uh, it's national, it, it's national... Dara says it looks great. Jeanette says it looks nice. Keep it, oh, but the keeps it have it so far. I don't know. Let me know. Call 844-47-KEVIN. Let me know. Write me, P.O. Box 222, Pleasant View, Tennessee, 37146. And uh, 
It is also National Pretzel Day, and I was noticing that if you get the Sonic app, I don't know if you like to go to the Sonic once in a while. Uh, I do. It's uh, They're celebrating National Pretzel Day, I think, through the end uh, to the 1st of May. So you can get a pretzel there for a dollar. How do you like your pretzels? you like them with cream cheese? That's me. Some like it with mustard. I'm not a mustard fan. Uh, what are you? Are you a cream cheese, mustard, or uh, just plain kind of person? I like icing and stuff on it. I have a pretzel story. That's why I'd like to share it today when I was doing a revival with a great evangelist, Michael French, and I were working together at the time in Pennsylvania, and the church we went to, Auntie Anne. Remember Auntie Anne? Oh, I, I think there's still Auntie Anne places around the country. She would bring us fresh pretzels every day. She was part of the church there. Ah, good memories. Good memories. Also on this day, it is Carol Burnett. You remember her? It's her birthday today. She's 85. Do you have a favorite character from Carol Burnett? I'm throwing out a bunch of questions. Just throw, just start answering as we go. To, uh, Diane says she likes cream cheese on hers. Dave and Barb like it plain. I, I could go either way, but mustard? Is there any mustard, folks? Mustard on your pretzel are there mustard on your pretzel people that's all i want to know i want other mustard uh, is there one is there one mustard on your pretzel person <laughs> these are things i want you to write me i want you to call me i want you to tell me if you're not here live on facebook and stuff when we do our show please would you come on Join with us. We also have prayer at the end of the program. So it's, it's worth joining us today. Uh, go and find out the products I'm talking about. Yes, silver is available. I have it in the liquid or the gel or the lozenges. Go there. So you've got a Steve says, yay, mustard. I, Steve, I had a feeling you were a mustard guy. Ron says, plain and salty. There you go. That's kind of how I like my my went. Terrible. Uh, it's also Shakespeare's birthday, William Shakespeare's birthday. Do you have a favorite Shakespeare play uh, or uh, uh, a drama of William Shakespeare? So I'm throwing out those questions. Favorite character on Carol Burnett? Tim Conway was my fave. When he did the old man or he did uh, the guy that, 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 that Mrs. O'Wiggins, remember that deal? Between Carol and Tim, boom. But when you put Tim and Harvey Corman together, uh, Phyllis says, yeah. Uh, Tim Conway, uh, last doctor's report after the last surgery was great. Dave and Barb, great, great. We're going to be praying for you uh, again today, later on uh, in the program. Uh, I'm not supposed to go to that Facebook thing while we're doing the program, but I do like that interaction for sure. Uh, I really do. And uh, if you would like to be a partner with us today, please pray about it. If you would, if you believe in what we're doing to reach the world for Jesus, Jesus is the answer for this world today and letting that out around the world, literally around the world, not only just on internet and satellite and all the TV stations and the podcasts that we are on, but also we go uh, to churches around this country and our other countries. In July, we'll be in Ethiopia. So you help support all those things in the name of Jesus. And not only do you help support that uh, with one-time gifts, whether you give a one-time gift and want one of the items that we may talk about in the course of the day, like the $10 uh, CD. Did I toss that already? I put it, put it down here. Like the Praise and Worship CD. Uh, you know, the, every bit helps us to propel and proclaim the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So maybe you would like to join us, the AM Kevin Club, which is $11 a month, just because 11 rhymes with Kevin. Or maybe you can go to the next level, $38 a month, because of we've been doing this. I've been an evangelist for 38 years. Kevin Shorey Ministries, even before we were incorporated, was out there 38 years ago telling people Jesus is the answer. I've been doing it for 38 years. And every month, the AM Kevin Club and the family of friends, that's what we call the $38 a month, uh, get a letter from me every month. Your AM Kevin Club letter is going out tomorrow for the AM Kevin Club family of friends. I think your letter's already on its way. And then I've got to send out the AM Kevin Club letters. Family of friends get a gift with their letter. And uh, sometimes AM Kevin Club gets a gift too. Everybody next month is going to get, um, no, no, not next month, but the month after, everybody's going to get a gift. You just never know what's going to happen. But family of friends, because we've been talking about the armor of God, it's our proclamations every day. And uh, they're getting the medallion that has a list of the different pieces of the armor. And on the other side, it has a scripture put on the whole armor of God and it has a little soldier there, a little 
uh, armor man over there. And that medallion is going out to all of our family of friends. And uh, we have less than 50 monthly partners. If we could double that this year, we would not even have to talk about money or have an offering on any program ever again. That's my goal. That's been my goal since we started in 2015. Yeah, we've been doing uh, TV full time for six years now. I cannot believe that. Here's what we've been proclaiming every day. We declare that we are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And even though the powers of darkness have schemes and strategies against us, we declare it is our destiny to win. Every battle that God allows in our life, He intends for us to win. Therefore, we choose to stand our ground and prepare ourselves by putting on the whole armor of God today. We put on the helmet of salvation and ask you, God, guard our mind with your truth. Help us to think your thoughts, Lord. Believe what you promised above and beyond what we personally think or feel. We dedicate everything we are to you, God. We give you our mind that we may think your thoughts, our eyes that we may have your vision, and look on nothing that displeases you. I give you my ears that I may be tuned to hear your voice above everything else i offer you my lips that i may speak words of life and not death faith and not doubt blessing and not cursing truth and not error we put on the breastplate of righteousness and thank you god we are forgiven through jesus christ purify our affections and appetites and make us long for the right things today we put on the belt of truth and thank you for a clear conscience we choose to aim our life towards everything that pleases you lord and away from anything that would grieve your heart we turn from our sin and declare complete forgiveness and acceptance from god through the blood of Jesus Christ. We take up the shield of faith and reject every lie and temptation of the devil. We put the shoes of readiness on our feet and make ourselves available, God, to go where you want us to go and do what you prompt us to do. Tie our hands to your purpose and bind our feet to your path. And we raise up the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, and recognize your Word is the basis for what we believe and what will come out of our mouth today. Holy Spirit, come into our life and fill us with your presence so we can bear much fruit today and every day day. This is our proclamations of the armor of God, putting it on every day. If you want a copy of that, we'd be glad to send you free of charge. Email it or snail mail it to you. Our, if you'd like it, once again, our address is P.O. Box 222, Pleasant View, Tennessee, 37146. Our announcer will give you all the information, including our phone number, 844-47-KEVIN, and our website, kevinshory.com, where you can sign up today and become a monthly partner, or you can ask requests for the uh, Armor of God proclamations uh, or donate a one time gift, maybe ten dollars or more. We'll send you uh, today. You have to mark today. Say praise and worship CD. I don't know exactly what you are talking about for sure. We do like to throw in. I got some family jokes I think is really funny today and uh, we like to share them. Well, it's time for Kevin's joke of the day. <laughs> you know father of a teenage son said to his neighbor, you know, my son's at an awkward age. How so? He's too old for spanking and too young for analysis. Uh, right? <laughs> I like that. Mom asked the little boy, Aunt Matilda, she won't kiss you with that dirty fa face. And he said, that's what I figured. There you go. And for those that are new parents, uh, husband says to the wife, it must be time to get up. And the wife says, how can you tell? The baby has fallen asleep at last. <laughs> There's a few jokes for the day. We try to make you laugh, too, because uh, laughter does good like a medicine. Charlene got her gift today, but I was going to say, somebody said, go ahead and shave. Who is that? Uh, let's see. Uh, Jeanette's got hers. Let's see. Uh, Janine. Hello, beautiful people. Thank you, Janine and Dave. Thank you for your encouraging words. Uh, many of you gave me encouraging words during the time of COVID. Uh, well, I fought that devil and I won. Hallelujah. Praise God. And uh, it's Diane who says, I vote for shaving. Okay, well, we've got some shaving, but I think the unshaving are, Dave and Barbara laughing, the unshaven is, uh, ha has won <laughs> so far. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to make anybody mad. Now I think I'm going to make somebody mad if I... If I I don't know. By the way, my Shakespeare favorite play, really, Romeo and Juliet, makes no sense to me. Hamlet is really pretty powerful, so I like that one. But the best literature, the best word is the Word of God. And so, Word of God, speak, pour down like rain, washing my eyes to see your majesty, to be still and know you're in this place. 
Please let me stay and rest in your holiness. Word of God speak. Let me give you this word of God. And for the next half hour, we get a special extra bonus song I'll sing for everybody. But today, since it is April 26, April 26, Psalm 26 and 27, vindicate me, Lord, for I've walked in integrity. I've trusted in you without a wavering. Probe me and test me. Refine my mind and my heart. For your love is before my eyes, and I walked in your truth, and I've not sat with men of falsehood, nor to consort with hypocrites. You ever feel like you've done nothing wrong, but yet something is still wrong? And, 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 and this is David's cry. This, I'll just do Psalm 26. That's all I have time for before we have to go from you. Destiny, God bless you for watching today. I detest the company of evildoers. I don't sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocent. I walk around the altar. I hear the voice of thanksgiving. I love the house of the Lord, the place where your glory de dwells. Don't take my soul away with the sinners, nor li life with the people of bloodshed, in whose hands are wicked schemes, whose right hand is full of bribes. I walk in integrity. So no matter he's, what he's trying to sell, all of us today, this is what we got to do today, folks. This is really what we got to do. No matter what it looks like around us, no matter if we can't see God, God can still see us. We got to stay on the right path, the straight and narrow. And he says, but verse 11 of Psalm 26, walk in integrity, redeem me, God, be gracious to me and keep my feet on level ground. Come on, this is a good word. Walk in integrity, stay under the blood, Operate in grace, the grace he gave to you. Keep you on level ground. And it says, I will stay in the congregation of the Lord and bless the name of the Lord forever. Continue doing that. Would you do that today? Just say, God, forgive me. If there's, see if there be any wicked way, rip, I repent. Wash me in your blood. Fill me with your spirit and I will walk with you. He's a good God and he is the answer for you today and every day. God is a wonderful, wonderful, loving, merciful, gracious God. Share grace, share love today with everybody and walk on level ground today and let God be number one in your life. Because no matter what it looks like, no matter what people are saying, no matter what the fake news says, Jesus is the answer for this world today. I will see you all the next time on Destiny Television. Thank you for watching today and for you that are watching now live, stay with me for another half hour of the AM Kevin Club. Take us out, Larry. This brings to a close another edition of AM Kevin. We're glad you were able to join us. The AM Kevin Show is presented Monday through Friday, featuring evangelist, composer, and gospel artist Kevin Shorey and the entire AM Kevin Club gang. If you'd like to contact us, you can call us at 844-47-KEVIN. That number once again is 844-475-3846. Or you can write us at Kevin Shorey Ministries, PO Box 222, Pleasant View, Tennessee, 37146. Our email address is kshoreymen at aol.com. And you can also visit us at our website, kevinshorey.com. Join us again next time when we present another edition of AM Kevin. And remember, Jesus is the answer for this world today. AM Kevin is a part of the outreach ministry of Kevin Shorey Ministries, Inc., all rights reserved. Well, hello, it's so good to be back with you again, and uh, we have a great program still. We're not totally done with you. I want to sing a song, and I want to read to you, that, you know, Psalm 26. I thought it was, it was so important to be able to share with you today, and, and I hope you're getting some from it. And uh, what does Cindy say? Yes, Cindy likes the, the beard, guys. Come on now. Dave and Barb like the coin. Praise God. Uh, Janine says shave. <laughs> uh, I don't know. One more day. We'll see. It's, it's like a tie. I don't know what to do. You know what? Cindy does get the last answer. Just like God needs to get the last answer in our lives. You know, when we walk in the integrity of the Lord and, uh, you know, he 
we, we stand our, keep our feet on. How do you keep your feet on level ground? He says, it. I will bless the Lord. So you, be, you live a lifestyle of worship. And I will stay in the congregation of the Lord. And you stay close to church. And you stay close to others that are of the fellowship of the Lord that will help build you up in the time of need. That they're there for you. It's so important. And uh, hi, Cliff and Joyce. Thanks for joining the second half. We are going to play games. Now, I am not, I haven't been tested to be negative yet. So I don't really like to be in public. So I'm not going to post office. So this week, can we play a game, but not, because uh, Monday's our game day. Can we play a game, but not, uh, but not get any prizes? Does anybody want to play, but not get any prizes? Can it, would, would you still want to play? Give me a thumbs up if you still want to play a game. I'll wait to hear from uh, at least one or two thumbs up and then we'll go. But then uh, David goes into from Psalm 26 to 27. And I don't know if they're the same song or if they were two different songs, uh, but they must have been done around the same time when, when David was trying to walk upright and take uh, courage when uh, he was going through so much. I don't know if this was the time of Saul chasing or Absalom chasing him. I, I don't know which, you know, which part of it that it was. But uh, then Psalm 27 busts out. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers approached me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and my foes, they stumbled. They fell. Though an army camp besieges, uh, an army camp besieges me or surrounds me, my heart will not fear. The war breaks out against me. Even then, I will be confident. One thing I have asked of the Lord, and that will I seek, to dwell in the house of Adonai all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of Adonai, and to meditate in his temple. For in the day of, the, uh, the day of trouble, he will hide me in his tabernacle and conceal me in the shelter of his tent. He set me high upon a rock. Oh, don't you love Psalm 27? My head will be high above my enemies around me. In his tabernacle, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing, yes, sing praises to the Lord. Uh, uh, I hear the Lord. Uh, no, hear me, O Lord, when I call with my voice. Be gracious to me and answer me. In my heart says, seek my face, your face, Lord, do I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon me or forsake me, O God, my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, Adonai will take me in. Teach me your way, Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Don't turn me over to the desire of my foes, for the false witnesses rise up against me, breathing out violence. Time is coming, folks. There may be time of persecution. But surely, verse 13 of Psalm 27, I will trust and I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for Adonai. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. This is my word for you today. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage and wait for him. Why wait for him? Because he will answer every time. He's a good God. He's a great God. I love you, Lord. I praise you. And I thank you. And no matter what the enemy has for me, mm, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That'd be a good cue to sing that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No weapon formed against me shall prosper this was somebody today you had to have this song it won't work said no weapon formed against me it's the word of the living love of god no weapon shall prosper no no it won't work god will do what he said he He's going to stand by his holy word. He will come through. I know God will do everything he said he would do for you. He's going to stand by his holy word. He will come through. Said Barb, no weapon, Dave. No weapon, Janine, formed against you. Karen, 
shall prosper. Charlene, Cliff, and Joyce, no, it won't work. Larry, no, no weapon. Lyle, Darius, happy birthday, Judy. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Not gonna work, no, no, it won't work. No, I won't be afraid of the arrow by day from the hand of my enemy. I'm gonna stand my ground with the Lord by my side and the snare that they set, they can't succeed. No, 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 they won't succeed. Said no, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Won't work, no. Said no weapon formed against me shall do just what he said he would do. He's going to stand by his holy word. I know he will come through. Say God will do everything he said he would do. He's not a man that he should lie. Oh no, he will come through. And just ain't one weapon not even COVID-19, no weapon shall prosper. It won't work, said no, no weapon. Not even one weapon, not even death itself. For to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. You can't threaten a Christian with heaven. Come on. No, 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 no weapon formed against me, formed against your family. Formed against your body, formed against your finances can work. It won't work, no, no, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It won't work, no weapon formed against you. Receive it in your spirit today. Nothing. Formed by the enemy that comes against you shall prosper. It won't work, no weapon. Isn't that a good word today? I believe it today. Whoop, there we go. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. It cannot work, it cannot hurt you, it cannot harm you, it cannot touch you. In the name that is above every name. I've done that, push that button, wrong button thing again. There we go. I think I'm, I'm good now. I don't know. I'm glad that you stay tuned because, uh, Lord, I just come before you. I know, Lord, you are the healer because you have healed my body. You have touched me. You have set me free from the hand of the enemy of, of COVID and anything that the enemy would form against me. In the name that is above every name, I thank you, God. That I am victorious because I know the victor. And God, I just pray right now, victory for Joe and her eye, for Tim in his marriage, for Barb, good reports, nothing but good reports from now on, for Leon, for Karen, for Madeline, for John, no weapon, for Roxanne, for Lynn, Donna, Don, Richard, Tammy, Jim, no weapon. Lana, Elizabeth, Bob, Susan, even with the COVID. April and Jeff with their attack upon their ministry and their vehicles to carry it out. Comfort for my cousin Pam, for Sandra in Arizona, Sandy in, in Texas. God, let these new open doors be a great new season of blessing and prosperity for Jolene in North Dakota. God, we, we, we know there's weapons that are formed against our nation, against Israel. We pray for not only for the peace of Jerusalem, but peace in our land. And that dream that shall wake up 
President Joe Biden in the middle of the night that shall be interpreted from one of God's men or women. Be with our pastors. And we pray for not just some set of meetings. We pray for true radical revival in our nation. God, I thank you that you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think and that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every lying tongue shall be cast down. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I pray that uh, the presence of the Lord will be with you today and that you will know His healing and His power. Hey, Miss Fritzy, thank you for saying I'm looking good, but amen to everybody. Uh, thank God that he had three times since December to take me home, but he chose and allowed me to live. Yes, Barb, you shall live and not die. And uh, Jeanette, yes. Psalm 27 is for you today. And uh, Elizabeth, you are just partial to my singing. Thank you so much. I wish the whole country of, of Northern Ireland was, uh, was watching in the name of Jesus. Well, y'all said you'd play a game even if you don't win a prize. And so uh, I'm down. I'm down to play a game. We've got time to do that. And and uh, I want to check. Let me see if I did I get. Let's see if I got. Let's see. I don't know how long. Let me see if I got the right amount of time for my for my show. I'm going to check it while we're live so you see the process. I was supposed to go 28.30, and it went 28.54. i got to cut off 24 seconds. But I can do that. I think I can do that. I really think I can. I'll fix that before I send it off to Alabama. So we're working on it. we got all new shows this week. Uh, I told you about a couple of ladies that were coming this week. They're actually coming next week. For some reason, I thought... Uh, the w the weeks of April were up. This was it. This was going to be May, but May's not till next week. So we got more time. And uh, but uh, I talked with Jackie Davidson, the uh, founder of Grief Guide Ministries. You can find out more about our ministry at griefguideministry.com. And Dr. Gayla Holly talked to, to her yesterday. She's momsagainsthunger.org or role models of America.org has two different ministries. And so you can check that out if you want. And uh, I was thinking while I was singing, and, and I wrote it down, uh, a few days ago was Judy's birthday, I do believe. Darius out there in Mission, Texas, his wife, Judy, it's her birthday. So happy, happy birthday. May all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. you Got to formally do the birthdays. I don't always catch all the birthdays, but anyway, I want to thank you. Uh, so many of you, uh, I said it on uh, earlier, but I want to say again, thank you for those that gave extra for the brand new CD. And, and as we speak, it's being mixed. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm putting the pictures together now and getting the cover together, covering the backside. And I'm going to put a bunch of pictures of, of me and mom and mom. <coughs> so it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be something to behold with the pictures or the CD. And what we will do is uh, uh, not only will you get a physical CD, and, and those that donated extra towards the CD, you'll have be on the credits. And I pray I don't miss anybody. And if I do, we'll fix it. Just let me know. But I think I got everybody. Uh, you'll be in the credits and the dedication to you. But um, what was I going to say? Should be out, you know, in a few weeks. But uh we will, for those, and all of y'all want physical CDs, so you're going to get physical CDs. But when we're on the road, we're going to have physical CDs, but also what they call the QR codes. And when you, you uh, buy the CD, you can have it downloaded to your phone or computer. And so I think that's, that's a really cool thing because a lot of folks are not buying CDs anymore. And uh, uh, so we want to keep up with the times, that's for sure. So anyway... Kevin, while you were out, we took Leon to Austin for grandson's service, long ride, heavy stress, but he did well. Uh, yes, I saw that on Facebook, and uh, blessings to Leon. Well, he's traveling, he's eating, he's doing great. Uh, Robert says, my ministry is nonprofit and is constantly under attack by Internet because they want me off the Internet. I understand, Robert. Keep on the fire line, though. Come on. Let it be about Jesus, for he is the answer. For world today, I want to play a game with y'all, but I want to make sure I've covered everything before I do that. And uh, so, what I was going to say is, and I think I said it, but I want to reiterate: all new shows this week and guests next week. Some have 
uh, preferred not to come until all the COVID is clear. So uh, that's why you are stuck with me all week. I'm going to be singing and dancing. No, I'll be singing anyway and sharing the word today. And we pray for you, Robert, and your ministry and the attack. Let's put Robert on our on our prayer list for sure. Uh, Robert is a great supporter of ours and shares our program all over the all the time. So I appreciate you, Robert, and uh, and what you, you ha- have done to help us. All right, we've got about 10 minutes, and uh, y'all pick a decade, uh, whether 40s, 50s, 60s, you think you know about the 70s, 80s, or 90s, give me a decade, we're going to do some Bible trivia, we've got Family Feud, let me see if I can find a Family Feud question, I love playing these, and, and I'm sorry, but I'm just not going to the post, and I'll, if you order some stuff, I'll get my wife to go, or I'll get, a, you know, but as of right now, uh, post office trips until I can test and get back negative. And I know I'm done with it because I feel great, but my voice is back and strong. I just sang two songs. Um, so I'm not worried about that except for the fact that I want to make sure that uh, everything's on the up and up and that we, we've, t- we've tested positive. I got my family feud here thing, but... But I I can't find my strikes in case you do a strike. Oh Lord, now I've just made a mess. That's all I got to see. Just I love him. Don't you love Steve Harvey? He's funny. He's funny. He's a good man too. I believe he loves the Lord. I really do. Dee 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 dee. And I can start traveling, and knowing that I tested negative again, after testing positive for a while. I am just making a mess. Okay, I found a strike. Not that any of you will do a strike, but just in case, we want to make sure. I'm I'm stalling, too, so you can pick a decade, see if you have any trivia knowledge. (laughs) Now I'm dropping everything all over the place. So I'm waiting, 40s, 50s, don't mind being stuck with you. Thank you, Charlene. God bless you guys. I sure missed you. Let me tell you, I think the worst part of COVID, other than not being able to breathe very well, was not being able to do a show, not being to really contact you guys. I mean, I, I sent messages, you know, when I could. Larry helped me. Ruthie helped me. Uh, but I just didn't have any contact. Crazy. All right, if you're not going to give me a decade, we won't do the decades, but I will do a, let's do a family feud. Name something, top five answers on the board. <laughs> Name some. wait a minute, I got music for this, don't I? Let's see, see, it's been so long. Let me see what my, my music is. I, did I like that? Uh, well, we'll try it and see. Name something that would be impossible to do in the dark. Something that's impossible, the top five answers are on the board. Name something that would be impossible to do in the dark. Yeah, that's the one I don't like. But it's cool. It's cute. Something impossible to do in the dark. got 70s 80s for trivia that's pretty cool read a newspaper read why are you saying read a newspaper i don't know hey oh th- your answers oh, okay <laughs> oh and diane's not telling me to put on makeup she's saying that's the answer oh i am so out of it <laughs> she's not telling me to put on she just said so. all right top five answers on the board and the first one in was Diane with put on makeup, which is number three. The top, the fifth answer was write. You can't do something impossible to do in the dark is to write. Number four was to eat. Number three was to put on makeup. Good job, Diane. <laughs> Jeanette got the number one. Number two was C. Can't see in the dark and it's possible to see. 
But the number one was to read. Jeanette got it, and then uh, then Charlene came in, and then Larry in third place. Fritzy, thread a needle. That's pretty good. So that's very good. Uh, but read was the number. <laughs> so got a <clears throat> so it's a good thing I got the <laughs> the strike ready for everybody. Let's go 70s and 80s. We got time for some trivia. <laughs> I am so dumb sometimes. I am so dense. I don't know. I haven't done the games in a long time. I I, I blame it on the COVID. That's right. <laughs> 70s and 80s. Let's see if we got 70s. Let me find my music. I haven't had this music in a while. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Uh, dee dee dee. Um, mm -mm, that's the that's the Bible trivia. Okay, so, so I found the Bible trivia. Yay. <laughs> All right. I found the music. 70s question. All right. You got to answer with a question, remember? Yes, I, I saw that. I've been praying for, for Jeff and you and your RV. Uh, in the name of Jesus, you're healed, Jeff. And uh, April, we're praying and believing with you. God bless you so much. All right, so here is, here is the Jeopardy question. Moonlight was sprinkled in his hair. There was golden starlight in his eyes of blue. Stars fell from the sky. One of seven, the 1970s most popular love songs. Moonlight was sprinkled in his hair. There was golden starlight in his eyes of blue. Stars fell down from the sky. One of the 1970s most popular love songs. I would. I think I would. Love you, Miss April and Jeff. Jeff, I love you guys. Not Miss Jeff, Miss April, and Mr. Jeff. That's 70s. Give you some time. There is a delay, so I'll give you some time. Jeanette, you got it, girl. What is close to you? Yes. Sprinkled in his hair, golden starlight in it, his eyes are blue. That is why. Da, 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 da. Close to you is, is right. Charlene, Mr. Sandman was way before the 70s. But uh, thanks for playing. Jeanette, you got it. Close to you. That is totally it. Let's go to 80s while we got some time. Uh, back in the 1980s, it made the remote control a way of life. Over 56% of American homes received it for the first time in the 1980s. It made the remote control a way of life. And back in the 1980s, over 56% of American homes received this for the first time. Jeanette, right, the Carpenters loved it. My mom did too. I grew up with Carpenters. Karen Carpenter. Richard Carpenter. I really want to give out prizes. I just can't get to the post office. Next week we'll get prizes, I promise. But can you play? It made the remote control a new way of life. Back in the 1980s, 56% of American homes received these for the f this for the first time. And uh, uh, no, mi the, the microwave oven did start expanding in the 1980s. So microwave oven is a good guess, but it is not. You're not going to believe this, but uh, the the. Uh, it made the remote control. See, you, that was that was the key to that one. Made the remote control a new way of life. In the 80s, 56% of American homes received for the first time what is cable television. 
cable television was in came out in the night that really wasn't long ago and now of course satellite and and all the whole thing but uh i, I thought that was pretty interesting and so there you go how about some bible trivia right i love it i love the bible more than anything else and uh i i pick some easy ones okay just because it's free today and uh let me see if I get, I got to get the right, yeah, I got the right theme song. Uh, and so the answer is, right, for Jeopardy. <coughs> Where is it? Where'd it go? He will crush Satan under his feet soon, according to Romans 16.20. He will crush Satan under his feet very soon, according to Romans 16.20. Yes, Pastor Beatty, you have known me, shaved my face. But Pastor Beatty, I will say, I knew you at Trinity with more hair. So, <laughs> yes, I'll just stop there. Fritzy got it. Charlene's got it first. Who is Jesus? Or I'll take God as an answer. God will put Satan under his feet very soon. Fritzy says, who is Jesus? Jeanette, who is God? And Don, my Massachusetts buddy, says Jesus. Correct. Here's another one. One more. we got one more time before, before we go. Are you ready? The answer is the father of many nations. The father of many nations. Come on. It's not Marlon Brando. Pastor, I'm playing with you, man. I love you. I think I actually like having some hair. I never, my brothers, I didn't, my, my father couldn't do it. My brothers can, and I've never had this much hair on my face. Believe me, it'll be shaved eventually, but for now. came in first let's see it was now if we were playing the real game for prizes Jeanette you'd have to say who is Abraham the answer is Abraham and Fritzy would have won instead of you which would have been sad so make sure when we play next week you put the question in a form of a question uh Fritzy got it who is Abraham Pastor ba Beatty got it and uh right you didn't say who yes and Dame Barb who is Abraham and Don says Abraham slow had to get Leon some cookies but that's okay you still got it. Abraham is the f was called the father, or is called the father of many nations. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's program today. We have got to go, but of course, it has been a great full hour. How did you like how we did with the first half hour uh, with the good stuff, the Devo, the song, the soapbox up front, and then we do this part. Let me know what you think of the new format. And so that, that will be our format for a while so that we can get some uh, new programs on Destiny Television because we're, we're there two or three times a week for only 30 minutes. So they've been playing old reruns of the 30-minute shows back when it was the Kevin Choi show. So anyway, got to go, but I love you. And uh, I want to tell you, I want to give you something you got to keep on your lips and tell people everywhere you go. Jesus is the answer for our world today. See you tomorrow live right here. Don't bring books and gifts. This brings to a close another edition of AM Kevin. We're glad you were able to join us. The AM Kevin Show is presented Monday through Friday featuring evangelist, composer, and gospel artist Kevin Shorey and the entire AM Kevin Club gang. If you'd like to contact us, you can call us at 844-47-KEVIN. That number once again is 844 844 
1-800-475-3846. Or you can write us at Kevin Shorey Ministries, P.O. Box 222, Pleasant View, Tennessee, 37146. Our email address is kshoreymen at aol.com. And you can also visit us at our website, kevinshorey.com. Join us again next time when we present another edition of AM Kevin. And remember, Jesus is the answer for this world today. AM Kevin is a part of the outreach ministry of Kevin Shorey Ministries, Inc., All Rights Reserved.